Welcome to the Edible Classroom. What are these? Any ideas? Are they pea seeds? They are, they're pea seeds. What's special about them? On the ground there. What's special about them? You can handle them if you like. Um, they're, not, they're not like peas you eat, they're not soft, they're hard. They're hard, why are they hard? What's, what's made them hard? Is it the thing that's inside it? Well, there's something inside it. It's definitely something inside it. In fact, I bite it in half. No, I can't even do that because it's so hard. Is it frozen? It's not frozen because feel it, it's warm. It's not frozen. Is it because it hasn't got water? Exactly right. Well done. Um, it hasn't got any water in it. Um, these are dried peas. There's nothing in it apart from pea. But fantastically, I mean, if I kept these dry for 20 years, they'd still be dry peas. And in 20 years time, when we're all old and married, we'll put some water in them, they'd grow. After all that time being like this. It's amazing, isn't it? For all intents and purposes, these things are dead. But you give them some water and they come to life. So how do we get water into those peas? Yes. Get like compost. Compost, brilliant. We've got some compost here. Here it is. And there's one thing about this compost I think I can show you quite easily. Can you see? It's wet, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to put the pea in the wet compost. And having put the peas in the wet compost, the water is going to get into the pea and it's going to make it come alive. It could stay like that forever if it was dry. But as soon as you put it into some wet compost, it bursts into life. Now, the thing about these peas is, they're going to grow up into what? Yeah? Into plants. Into plants. What do pea plants give you? Peas. Peas. How many peas do you think we get off a pea plant? Any ideas? Five. Five peas off a pea plant. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You think 10 peas off a pea plant, so you get 10 of them. 200. Well, that's nearer the mark, 200. 250. Well, yeah, something like that. You're going to get off a pea plant at least 10 or 20 or maybe even 30 pea pods. And inside each pea pod, you get at least five or six peas in it. So it's quite a lot, isn't it? From one little seed, let's choose the smallest. There you go. From one little seed, you're going to get, ooh, best part of 200 seeds back. So where does all that stuff come from to make 200 seeds out of that little thing? Yeah? Is it food and energy? Food and energy, where does the energy come from? The energy comes from the sun. From the sun, fantastic. Where does the food come from? Because food's a bit of a strange word, isn't it? Um, we get the food from the sun. When they're, when they're plant. But I when know what you mean, but it's not quite right. Yeah? Go on. Uh, do, you get it from, do they get it from the compost? Partly, yes. Partly it comes from the compost, doesn't it? Where else? Is it like photosynthesis? Where well, photosynthesis is a big word, isn't it? It's where the, the green leaves, the sun gives them energy, and then they make yeah. food and they store it. In the where does it come from, the stuff that goes into the leaf? Where does it come is from? Is it water in the soil? Water in the soil and one more thing. Warm. Not warm. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, yes. And where's, where do we find carbon dioxide? We all should know that now because on the TV it's such a lot, isn't it? Yeah? It's in the air. It's in the air. Fantastic. So these things need some water, some nutrients, some minerals that are in there that help it grow, some carbon dioxide and one more thing. What was it? I've forgotten. What was it? One more thing. Yeah. Um, we water, carbon dioxide, nutrients in the soil, and one more thing. What was it? Sunlight. Sunlight. Brilliant. So, fun part. You ready? We're going to make some pots. 
but we're going to show you this and then you can do it yourself. I have here a pot maker and a piece of newspaper. Now we've only got two so you have to take it in turns but let me show you first of all. Piece of newspaper and you're going to line this about two centimeters for my dirty hands now. About two centimeters from the end and then we're going to wrap this up quite tightly so you have to make sure that it's quite tight on the pot maker. Roll it up so now I have fantastically a roll of paper around a piece of wood. I push that down on the end and then use the base. Watch the base. On it goes, twist it round, pull it off. I've got a pot. Okay, so we're each going to make one of those um, and we're going to fill it with compost to about there. Okay, and then we're each going to pop a pea seed in and stick it on the windowsill and see how long it takes for the thing to grow. Okay, brilliant. Get yourself a piece of paper each. Now, when we've all made our pot, I'm going to ask you to choose which seed you want to plant. Mm -hmm. But when you've chosen it, I want you to choose it for a good reason. And the reason will come, come into your mind. You, you're going to choose your own seed, but I'm going to ask you why you chose that seed. Okay, I want to know what it is about that particular seed that you chose it, and why, why did you choose that particular one? Okay. Now, when, when, when we've got our last pots made, now this is the grubby bit, um, and there's probably enough room for us to just dive in there and fill your fill your pot with compost. Off you go. Fill your pot up. Try not to throw it everywhere. Got a pot up with compost. And pat it down a little bit once you've got it inside. There you go. This is an activity where the children are making their own pots and they're filling them with compost and putting peas in. But I want to find out why it is that they chose the pea. Because we're going to compare the peas that they've grown to the peas that they collect later in the year. 